This audio is copyright 2008, so get it right. WCReplays.com if you don't respect it, don't fold your mind. Dread Drip is in the house, load the replay up, click it with your mouse. Get it paused at the two minute mark, cause I'm a dog and I'm bossed the buck. Alright guys, let's get this kicked off. Dredrick here doing my first staff audio commentary for WCReplays.com. Oh, it's stuffy in here. Let me open the window. Hot. Alright. There we go. So while you're getting that paused at two minutes, I will be brief as possible because we're going to do two games, each one showing different things. Uh, the first one's going to be Do's vs. Human. The second one's going to be Don'ts. Both these games are going to be cross-spawn. Twisted Meadows, Undead vs. Human. From the Undead perspective, of course, because, come on, who doesn't love zombies? Awesome. So, uh, just uh, some info. I will be drinking uh, Pepsi today. Yeah, that's right. That's my drink of the day. I tried to be all epic opening that cap, but my timing was off. And I got Pepsi in my eye, so uh, there you go. I guess you just can't make Pepsi epic on the internet. <clears throat> so, Twisted Meadows, Undead vs. Human. Very fun map. Uh, most people consider this to be undead favored. Eh, I don't really care. I just think it's fun. So, one of the reasons that it's really fun is because there's a... You, you could play this map so many hundreds of times and never get anywhere near the same game. There's so many different like locations to do things. Descriptive. And there's so many strategies to employ. Informative. <clears throat> And there is stuff that happens. Epic. See, there's the there's the three things that make a good audio commentator. Descriptive, informative, and epic. And I've got all three. So, you're in for a good re show today. Uh, in the late game, the undead can use fiends, gargs, or destroyers effectively uh, as their army base. Humans can use... Uh, they can go Archmage, Mountain King, Paladin... Blood Mage, if they're angry Korea man, they can go uh, dis uh, gyrocopters, tanks, whatever, dragon hawks. There's just so many different options on this map. Uh, it's really fun, I think. So it's really a very strategic game. Anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and take a brief look at how both players are looking at this game. When you're uh, seeing this matchup load up on your screen, you're gonna know that the human player is gonna go ahead and try to lab creep. That's what they do. They always lab creep. They're always gonna lab creep. Lab creep. Uh, it's very effective. Gets them very quick level 2. Very hot item. And uh, almost level 3 if they get an XP tone. Those lucky bastards. So, uh, they're, most humans nowadays speed build their altar with two peasants so they can get out there even faster. They'll show up with like one footman and a bunch of militia, as you can probably see if you're paused up at two minutes, so we're about to go, don't worry. You as the undead player are going to have to do a altar ziggurat build to get an extremely fast hero. Take your hero with a rod and run straight the hell to their uh, lab creep. The other thing you want to do to prepare yourself for this laboratory creep is scout counterclockwise. That'll tell you if the human is at the closest goblin lab uh, very quickly. Because if you get there, uh, if they are spawned very close and you get there as fast as possible, you can really screw them over. I've seen games where very good players like, uh, like Deuce will get as many as, what, four? I think he got four or five peasants. And, uh, and that makes your early, late and mid-game extremely easy. If you can get a ton of peasants, you can really set yourself up for a sweet and easy game. So it's kind of a, a risk for the human, but it does pay off pretty high, so <clears throat> definitely worth it for them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this unpaused. I've chattered on enough at the two-minute mark in three, two, one, unpause. 202, 203, 204, 205. Okay, so since this is cross-spawn... <clears throat> Thor Zane is already almost killed this golem. It's about half down. Fury is running straight the hell at him. Uh, but with cross spawn, you're not really going to show up in time to do too much. You're kind of going to just show up and do as best you can, you know, kind of work with the rewards. Um, Thor Zane sending this one militia back. Notice how well he crept this. He got pretty lucky and just did that extremely well. He, uh, Except for that one peasant, not a single one of his peasants got down half HP even. So Fury is going to come by. There's nothing for him to go after. Uh, he just has to kind of back off. So here's sort of when you're doing this early game Death Knight harass, which is what you're going to want to do. Uh, stick around with the DK. Do what you can. 
and here's here's sort of your order of business. First, you want to go after any peasants that are that are laying around. Uh, it, it costs the human player immediate gold and lumber. Oh, uh, notice he sent two skeletons behind the laboratory. Most humans will build a farm back there so that they can uh, use the lab for reveals and buying zeppelins and, and sappers and and uh, shredders. There you go. So uh, check for peasants behind there building a farm so you can pick them up. Uh, next thing you want to do is just stick on the Archmage and try to pick off big creeps like here. He's going to pick off this level 3 Null Brute. Once it's under 100 HP, C-click, GG. Uh, third thing, notice there he's taking Wax to the Archmage. Next thing you want to do is put damage on the Archmage. Um, meanwhile, while doing all this, your your number one priority is actually to keep the Death Knight's HP high. But uh, you know, while doing that, he's putting damage on the Archmage and whatnot. Uh, what this is going to do is... Well, when the DK gets low HP, uh, it's it's kind of like the effectiveness of the DK harass is relative to how much HP the DK has on him. Uh, the lower HP he gets, the more conservative you have to play, the less you can play around with your Death Knight. Um, you can't hang around and just kind of wait for a good opportunity to, to get a creep kill, um, etc. So he's bringing down his ghouls. Once you've started your tech and you've got about 200 lumber, you want to bring your ghouls down. Um, because right about now, very quickly, uh, this is not very far in the game, we're four and a half minutes into the game, the human is about to expand. Uh, he's putting up a second tower in his base, he's already got the arcane tower, just in case Fury decides to take his ghouls into his base. Um, Lumber mill going up so he can make guard towers. Uh, oh, he picked off the um, the mercenary, that priest. Uh, priest, 240 HP, but it can do it can abolish your skeletons and it can heal his units, so a very excellent target, very low HP, very high damage, and um, just just go after the priest, it's really nice. So notice he is bringing down his militia. Uh, whenever you have the, the ghouls here, if you're late on the ghouls, your harass is going to be very much weakened. He's got the ghouls around here, and your whole goal here is going to be to slow this expansion. So, you're slowing the expansion, that's the whole goal. So now we've entered into the second phase of the game. The DK harass has sort of ended, and now we are onto the expansion. So, uh, you've got basically three things you want to do. Slow the expansion, make it take longer to get up. Uh, no, he's going to get this Ogre Magi here. You should be able to get that most of the time, unless you get, like, really unlucky. Um, or you just kind of get chased away or something. Uh, very, very useful. You want to... And that brings to the second point you want to do. You want to try to keep equal with the human's XP, or at least get close. Uh, if the human out-levels you too much, it's kind of going to suck, especially if he gets level 3 very quickly. Had he gotten that Ogre Magi, I think he'd be level 3 right now. Yeah, right now he'd be level 3. Uh, but he's not yet, so good for you, Fury. Um, and also, Fury's, of course, got the aura, so very nice. You need to you need to kind of just opportunistically get experience for his human here in the early game. <clears throat> The other thing you want to do is kill peasants. Uh, once again, peasants, that kind of goes hand in hand with slowing the expo. But, I mean, slowing the expo doesn't mean you have to kill peasants. You can just be near the human and kind of slow the expo, at least until you started it. So, um, definitely you're going to cost the human immediately uh, 75 gold to rebuild the peasant. And it's also going to cost him lumber in... Uh, you know, since he would have peasants making lumber that he has to replace that peasant with. And also, it's going to take longer to speed build the expo. So, anyway, his ghoul push has kind of ran out of steam. Um, the thing is that the humans got to kill those creeps. Like, you know, he has to split his focus between the ghouls and the creeps. So, while, while normally his army is better than yours at this point in the game, it's just better. Tillerman, you know. The human army is better than your army. It's, it's true. Uh, but when the creeps are there, you can go in and kind of screw the human player over uh, since he's got to split his focus. Uh, once the creeps are done, your gold playtime is pretty much over. You've got to back off and, and kind of harass differently. Uh, is, um, notice immediately, before he started his slaughterhouse, before he, he got his... Um, oh, maybe after he got the panda. Yeah, after he got the panda. But before he started his slaughterhouse or started making like fiends or anything, he went ahead and started his tier 3 tech. Uh, ghoul Frenzy and Destroyers are kind of the two, as Frey put it, the holy grail you're chasing here, um, which is really nice. Uh, also, one more thing I, I kind of want to mention is don't be afraid to, like, lose a couple ghouls, like, you know, two or three or something. You know, don't, like, suicide them, but ghouls are tools. They're not extremely effective in the late game, uh, so you kind of want to find ways, like, cute ways to make use of them, as they are your real... Like, unless you're going to go fiends, which eh, doesn't really work too well. Um, ghouls are kind of the best.